Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast, another quick hitter edition. We're going to uh, Brooklyn, New York, where there's a federal racketeering trial going on right now. Uh, the defendant, the main defendant is Genovese crime family capo or reputed Genovese crime family capo, Anthony Romanello, who they call Rom. But the story beneath the story here is how the ghost of uh, tough Tony Federici uh, seems to be looming over this trial. From day one, his name has been mentioned multiple times. He passed away last year in November of 2022, uh, lost a bout with leukemia. But uh, Anthony Federici, a.k.a. To uh, tough ton <laughs> Anthony Federici, a.k.a. Tough Tony, a.k.a. Tony Parkside, uh, is a legend in, in, in Corona, Queens, uh, a guy that's name uh, rang uh, from borough to borough, a guy that was incredibly well respected. He was an earner. Uh, he was allegedly a hitter. Uh, he was a guy that, uh, you know, checked all the boxes. If you're talking about a gangster, that's going to be, um, revered in, in the, in the five families pantheon. And that's what tough Tony was very, very respected as a capo. And then eventually uh, went into the administration later on in his life. Uh, all this, this racketeering trial with Romanello and his, uh, alleged bodyguard, uh, Joe Celso, uh, are, are accused of collecting a $90,000 debt from an Albanian uh, restaurateur, Bruno uh, Selmanaj, Selmanaj, uh, who uh, right now runs the Club A Steakhouse, owns the Club A Steakhouse. Back in 2017, when the shakedown occurred, or this extortion occurred, uh, he owned a, a steakhouse in Lincoln Square that I guess was a big hangout for Genovese crime family members, including Romanello and Federici. Uh, this this really had nothing to do with Bruno. This had to do with Bruno's nephew and his nephew's brother-in-law who racked up a really big debt uh, upwards of between eighty and ninety thousand dollars that they couldn't pay back to uh, the the Queen's Cruise book bookmaking network where there was another Albanian, uh, this guy Brexit, um, who uh, is like a wannabe actor. He was one of the bookies involved. Another Irish guy named Mike Reagan. Uh, they all were underneath the, the Queen's Genovese uh, umbrella. Uh, these guys, Bruno's uh, nephew and nephew's brother-in-law, bet in, uh, lost all this money, couldn't collect it from them. So Romanello and, and Federici decide that it's best to target Bruno because that's that he, he's got the pockets. So in that first day of testimony this week, uh, Tough Tony's name was was brought up at least two or three times on the stand in relation to the shakedown. You got to believe that if he was still alive, he would have been at that defendant's table with Romanello and Celso. It's alleged that Romanello took over the uh, that Corona Queens crew from uh, Tough Tony when he got promoted to conciliary. And, uh, you know, Tough Tony, in addition to having this reputation that was, you know, a gold standard reputation in, in the, the mafia, he was a very public figure. Uh, people, you know, swear by the Parkside restaurant, which was his place, uh, best Italian food in Corona, Queens, did an interview with, with Vice uh, just a couple of years ago, uh, sitting at his restaurant talking about food with this British freelancer for, for Vice. Uh, but his name came up twice, both in regards to trying to collect this debt. I guess the first uh, time came from uh, Mike Reagan, the, the Irish book bookie who approached uh, Bruno and told him that uh, he owed this money and that uh, Tough Tony says hello. And uh, that was interpreted by Bruno, who took the stand in the first day of trial to mean that uh, tough Tony Federici was asking for this money and that uh, now the, the mafia was involved and that he was quote unquote being muscled uh, over the next couple of weeks and months. Romanello began visiting Bruno. They had known each other for 30 years. I guess they were close friends, uh, but th this was, this was all business. And uh, Romanello uh, insisted that Bruno pay the debt. And in one of these occasions, he says, the next time you ain't going to see me here, you're going to see tough Tony. You're going to see Tony Federici. And that was all he needed to hear. Uh, Romanello is caught on 
uh, uh, videotape uh, taking a swing at him and connecting him with his jaw. Uh, and after making that comment about tough Tony Federici coming to, to see him next. And within a couple of days, I believe, or within a week, uh, $90,000 was paid off. Uh, to allegedly paid off to Romanello via, via Celso. It was cobbled together, I guess, according to court testimony this week, between uh, $6,000 from Bruno, uh, about $35,000 from Bruno's brother, Nino, who I guess is an actor and was in the movie uh, Hidden Gem uh, with uh, Hidden Gem with uh, Adam Sandler, and then $45,000 coming from the nephew's brother-in-law's dad. Um but tough Tony Federici, uh, the ghost of tough Tony is uh, is haunting the courtroom. I just wanted to give a, a, a quick breakdown of what's happened in that case the last couple of days. And uh, both Bruno and Nino um, Selimage testified. And uh, Romanello's attorney, uh, the argument that he's making is that uh, this was a, simply a personal beef between two friends, meaning him and Bruno, uh, and that Bruno insulted him. And that's what led to the the punch and the assault, uh, not any gambling debt. <laughs> uh, we shall see, but uh, tough Tony, even though he's been dead for a year, uh, believe me, people know who he is in that courtroom in Brooklyn right now. So I just wanted to give everyone the update. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein out. Mm -hmm.